So, hilariously, nothing really wants to, like, work super well for me today. Um, but that's okay. I'm going to play one of my favorite games ever. Uh, and if there's a little bit of echo on the audio, I sincerely apologize, but my headphones decided that they didn't want to work today. Uh, so, let's go ahead and I am going to start Inscription from the very beginning, because I have not played it from the very beginning in quite a long time. So, let's get going. Wipe data and start at clip? Absolutely. I love how unsettling this game opens. <laughs> Just those eyes. <laughs> Another challenger. It has been ages. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. I don't necessarily need a reminder, but we'll do it, Leshy. Play the squirrel card. All right. Now play your stoat. Stoats cost one blood. Sacrifices must be made. All right. Wolves require two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn and commence combat. All right. Your stoat stands unopposed. The number on the bottom left is its attack power, one. Your stoat dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale. You win if you tip my side all the way down. Like this. My turn. Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote. My coyote dealt two damage to your stoat. That means your stoat's health is too... I'm sorry, that always made me laugh. Even when I first started playing this game, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. I guess you might think I'm that stupid. It's probably a fair assessment. If a creature's health reaches zero, it dies. It is your turn again. You may draw from your deck, or you may draw a squirrel. And I will draw a squirrel. How dull... <laughs> And I'm just going to go ahead and play my wolf. The wolf demands two sacrifices, so squirrel and the stoat who protests. Fear not, the beast is sacrificed, but not removed from your deck. Its suffering was real, but you will see it again. I know, it's a main part of the game. <laughs> and I end my turn. Because you are learning, I will pass, which I find kind of cowardly, but again, the choice. A random card from your deck or the certainty of a squirrel? I mean, I don't really necessarily need it, but I will play it anyways. Three damage dealt. Three weights on the scale. You know you can play more than one card per turn. I, see, this is all ac hilariously enough new stuff to me because I never did this. These are not choices that I made when I the first time I ever played this game. So that's why this is all kind of catching me off guard right now. And I'll beat you up. And get some nice overkill. You've won this match. They won't all be so easy. Let me recall your story. Oh, yes. You were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. Two denizens of the forest approached you tentatively. The caustic adder, damage from its poison bite, is always lethal. The undying cat, 
sacrificing the poor beast does not kill it. Uh, only one may grace your paltry deck. I always go with undying. Undying is the best thing that you can get. Some of the creatures of the forest seemed willing to follow you. And I'll pick up some stuff. You came across an abandoned sack. You found a squirrel in a bottle. Break in case of emergency. And have a second. Another useful implement. I'll allow you to tip the scales with it. Three is as much as you can carry. All right, and let's go and do a battle. The first time I did this, I don't even think that I made it past the the uh, prospector, honestly. You were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. You sacrificed me while I was sleeping. It was the right play. I get it. Maybe you'll help me? Take your turn. Play along for now. You may now see my moves ahead of time. So I will play the squirrel. I will play the cat in a safe little corner. And I will play the stoat. Here we go. Here we go indeed. Mind the ambitious wolf cub. It ages swiftly. Uh, I'll just, I'll get the river snapper out. I don't really necessarily need it, but I'll do it. Just, just cause. And the wolf cub is a wolf now. The airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. So this will just even us out. Yep. Ha! My bat flew right over your stoat. Unfortunately, I think the stoat gets the last laugh in the end, but... You know. See what I mean? I will grab a squirrel so that I can take my wolf out. And he is apparently done, so I will just end this now, I think. Yes, with one bit of overkill. Although, I don't think I get the extra... I don't think I get the teeth yet. Oh well. It's still kind of fun to do anyways. Do I want the young wolf cub? It grows into a wolf after a single turn. Or the meek sparrow, an inexpensive, if feeble, flying creature. Uh, it won't matter, because this is just gonna get added onto something else. So, I think I'll give it- I think I'll give something flying, just for funsies. You stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. You were compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will be lost forever. And I will choose the sparrow, because I am not losing that cat. Uh, so, I would much rather give it to something that can actually do damage, so flying wolf it is. A ghastly spectacle, but the soul of the sparrow now lives in the wolf. And a totem fight, which is so unfair, but it's fine. Oh, hey, I just did that. Behold my totem. It inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil. He's completely insane. You see that, right? No care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Enough. Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. Knowing what you do later, yeah, I'd kind of want to make you suffer too. <laughs> just, just to be fair. 
I'm gonna give myself an upper hand, just for fun. I will go wolf and stoked. Back on the board. And then I'll be able to get more. Oh, my totem has granted my coyote the power of flight. Yeah, which is garbage, but hey, you know, who's counting? I think we'll kind of just go back and forth for a little bit here. You're two damage away from winning. Yes! I <laughs> suppose I am. I am going to do... Oh, I don't know why I thought the river snapper had flying defense. Oh, well. Excellent. Impressive. You may yet survive this ordeal. Knock on wood. <laughs> Pick up a new card. The proud wolf, a vicious contender. The conniving raven, a blight upon the skies. The stalwart snapper, a near impenetrable defense. Uh, I'm going to take the raven. Especially since I can't combine cards yet. Uh, go to the camp. I never actually really got to utilize this a whole lot either when I first played. Faces shrunken from starvation. They huddled around a campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire. That will enhance its power, said another. You noticed one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. Uh, you're gonna go. <laughs> the fire warmed the poor stoat, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached towards it. Another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the stoat away from the fire and left. I think I will just record until I get to the the prospector. That'll give me enough time to actually, you know, show that I can do something, I guess. Alright, this is not gonna be a great turn for me, but that's okay. I don't know why it wanted me to look at my hand there, but... Oh, I didn't notice the grizzly. Oh, crap. Yeesh. I didn't see that. Um, alright. I don't want to lose already. That's not fair. So I'm gonna... Yeah. Ah. I can still, like, kind of feel the phantom pain from the idea of doing that. Like, that's such an unplay- Yeah, of course you didn't think I would really do it. Just the idea of ripping one of your own teeth out. Ew. I hate that. I also hate this because I know I'm gonna lose. There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent, or I will tear you to shreds. You kind of deserve it, my man. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure, but I don't really have another choice, and it doesn't matter because I'm going to lose anyways. That is, that is a garbage way to make you have to get up to get the candles. You've lost. Using this as a learning opportunity, baby, the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, I didn't, oh my god, I didn't notice that hand there at first. <laughs> huh. Bring it here. Yes, you're gonna tap on the desk with your weird hand. Now sit back down. I didn't, that hand, I didn't notice it right away. It, it was like one of those things that I just saw out of like, like the corner of my eye. All right, sitting down. Let me explain something to you. That was one of two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Now, where were we? We were at you cheating, but it's fine. Whatever. I need items, because I have none. Raven, the flighty elk, it moves after attacking. I cannot ha give this guy a consistent accent. I'm very sorry. My throat hurts. <laughs> I'll take the elk, though, because I don't have one. And now I'm going to get items. A gust from this may lift your creatures into the air, if only for a turn. Choose one. Eh, I'll take that. A rock may get you out of a hard place. Uh, I'll take the squirrel. A powerful item. Th turn this, and I'll skip my next turn. Uh, yeah, yeah, why not? I'll take it. Feeling overburdened enough with a full three items you carried on. Ugh. Trees seemed to close in around you as a chill mist descended. In the distance, you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. Oh, God. <coughs> Let's see if my throat will let me do a decent voice for him. <clears throat> Hee-haw! T'was the prospector! Oh, God, I hate my life. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Alright. Squirrel out. Cat out. <laughs> I'll just take, I'll eat the damage. Oh. My game always lags so much during the prospector fight. It's so bad. Alright, put down the squirrel. And I want to get rid of this coyote, so elk it is. Goodbye. Fleeing will not save you. I mean, I don't really have much to fight against, so... Oh, crap. Oh, well. That'll break me even. But I'm gonna miss attacking the pack mule. Mm. Hopefully I'll get... Nope! Dang. I'll take the squirrel in a bottle. I really, really want to get this pack mule. Mostly because it'll give me good cards for later on. Well, we'll go ahead anyways. That's fine. Oh, but all of these cards are gonna be lost. Oh, crud. Oh, it's okay. I'll get the pack mule this turn. before I hope you didn't think it would be that easy there's gold in them cars I can't I can't I can't do that it's so bad I'm so sorry <laughs> gold have struck gold and now I'm gonna have to be able to play something. I could put... Nah. 
I can play the porcupine. That at least it'll get the coyote out of the way. than nothing, I suppose. Get him. I don't know why I keep drawing squirrels. I don't... I have squirrels in my hand. Oh, it's like a force of habit. I just... I just click it. Get some... Get some damage on him. Sparrow's gonna die, but... Oh, my leg is asleep. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no, that hurts. <laughs> He's doing the prospector again. Easy boss. The mule's key. Yeah, I already beat it. I'm good. Thank you. I just can't believe, because I absolutely lost the first time I did this. I did not make it past the prospector on my first run. It's not like it's necessarily a hard boss it just it's weird uh i know that there's just another wolf in my hand but oh well uh, the squirrel's just gonna die it's fine i can take one hit of damage As long as it doesn't start giving me starvation, because that might really be bad for me. Ooh, that was fun. Oh, excellent. Okay, that that's even better. Allow me to light your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you were granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. Give me the Ouroboros and I will. Just give me the Ouroboros right away. Poor abandoned child, it does not sacrifice- die- it does, it does not die when sacrificed, but do you have the heart to try? A largely unimpressive specimen. That's the Mothman, how dare you? I love him. This level of brutish strength needs no explanation. No, I'm taking the Mothman. He just needs time. He needs to be protected. With the sound of the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carried onwards. Hmm. The rank smell of rotten mold permeated the humid air. Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or slither. You tread cautiously into the wetlands. And that is where I am going to stop recording. Because I think I have I think I have enough. I think I have enough of at least a little bit of my personality. <laughs> really bad voice acting, but that's okay. <laughs>